Hello everyone, let's meet Mr. Sharma from Global Enterprises who uses a third-party application for various business operations. He wants an interface in the application to enter payment data and create the corresponding payment voucher directly in Tally ERP9 running on another system. He calls the Tally support person who starts guiding him on the process. The process comprises of two steps. Firstly, two groups of ledgers, that is party or expense ledgers and bank or cash ledgers need to be extracted out of Tally and displayed in third-party application for the user to select. This can be done by ODBC query or by XML request method. Since ODBC approach has already been covered in another video, here we will discuss the XML approach, which is usually in the request response fashion. In this case, since the third-party application initiates the request, it becomes the client sending the XML request and Tally becomes the server responding with the XML response. Secondly, after updating the interface form details, as soon as one hits the Create button, the payment voucher with the data entered in the form should get created in Tally. In the tally specific format, the following tags must be taken care of. The envelope tag which contains the entire header and data. The header tag containing the major instructions for tally which include version tag which is set to 1. Tally request tag which can be import, export or execute to request tally to import data, export data or execute an action respectively from tally's perspective type tag to specify the type of data to be transferred. It can take one of the following values. ID tag which provides specific identification of the request which can take the following values depending on the value in type tag. Within the body tag is the description tag where description about static variables, function parameters etc are set. Data tag is used to specify the details of actual data which is being transferred. The response format is also similar in most respects. The status tag is applicable only for response. Its possible values are success if value within the status tag is set to 1 or failure if the value is 0. Since ledgers from Tally are required in the combo box of the application's interface, we need to extract ledger masters from Tally by sending XML request. The XML request is as follows. The tally request tag will be set to export since we are requesting tally to export data. The type tag will be set to collection since we are asking for collection of ledgers. The ID tag is set to name of the collection which is filtered ledgers in this case. The collection filtered ledgers must either be available in the TDL associated with tally or else be defined in the TDL message tag under the body tag. This collection uses the default collection ledger as its source, fetches the ledger names and filters for the party expense filters in case of the first combo box and bank cash filter in case of the second combo box. The response XML consists of all the ledgers filtered only for the specified heads. The name tag in response XML is populated in the combo boxes, thus allowing the user to make the selection following is a sample vb.net code meant for populating the XML tags. The request format is as follows. Tally request tag should be set as import, type as data and the ID should be set to vouchers as we are importing voucher. In case of importing masters, ID would be set to all masters. Each tally message tag signifies a single object, that is, a transaction or a master. One or more masters or vouchers can be sent by enclosing each of them within a tally message tag. Tally message tag is followed by the object type tag. Here, the object type is voucher, hence voucher tag follows. This tag must contain all the XML attributes with their values like voucher type, action and object view setting. Here, voucher type is set to payment, action to create, and object view to accounting voucher view, which means that when the user drills down into the voucher, he would see the voucher interface in accounting view. 
within voucher tag, sub tags like date, voucher type name, persistent view, etc. Mandatory for creation of a voucher must be available. Optionally, tags like narration, effective date, etc. can also be present. Within a voucher, we have sub-objects, all ledger entries, where debit and credit ledgers are accepted. Each sub-object forms a sub-tag, all ledger entries dot list, which contains three mandatory values, that is, ledger name, is deemed positive, and amount. Is deemed positive helps tally to determine whether the ledger is a debit ledger or a credit ledger. If set to yes, the ledger is a debit ledger, and if set to no, it is a credit ledger. Apart from this XML format, Tally also supports the following alternate format. In this format, contrary to a few tags, data within the Tally message tag remains the same. Let us go through a live demo. Observe that the tally URL is preset to http colon slash slash localhost colon 9000. If tally is running on a different system, the IP and the port number of that particular system can be entered. Also, observe that the filtered ledgers from tally are already pre-filled in the combo boxes. After updating the form, once the user presses the Create button, the voucher is created in Tally with the data specified in the form. Now let us view the result in Tally. Go to Display Daybook to see the vouchers created. Clicking on the Imported Voucher will lead us to the Voucher screen. Tally can also import other vouchers like sales, receipt, attendance, payroll, etc. and masters like ledgers, stock items, etc. To understand the XML structure of any data object, the best way is to create sample data in Tally and export the same in XML format. For masters XML format, create a view masters, then navigate to display list of accounts. Click export to export the masters after specifying the relevant details. For vouchers XML format, create a few voucher entries. Go to display daybook, click export and export the voucher after specifying the details. For more information, refer to documents on integration present on our website or in case of any doubts or queries, email us at support.tallydeveloper at tallysolutions.com.